Hi, this is Gene Gallon with the Chatham Journal newspaper. I'm here with the ever famous, if anybody, if you live in Chatham County, you know who this man is. It's Clyde Jones. He's even got a festival named after him, Clyde Fest. And that's coming up in a few months. It but, comes up April the last Saturday in April. Last Saturday in April. But what we're here for today is Clyde's got his critters at the Farrington 6th Annual Folk Art Festival. And you've been here since, like, the very beginning, haven't you? Yeah. And, um... Uh, what kind of artwork do you do, Mr. Clyde? Well, I make all kinds of animals and stuff. It's called Critter Crossing. Critter Crossing. That's right. If you come over to your house, you'd see all these animals out there. And how'd you start doing this, Mr. Clyde? I was working in the woods, cutting timber, and seeing the animals in the woods. And boys from the woods and use them so I'm cleaning it from nature to the public. From nature to the public. Now, I see these, and you can see them all around Chatham County because you, you have a tendency to sometimes give these things away, although a lot of folks come from all over the country to get these from you, don't they? Oh, sure. They come from around the world. Around the world? What's the furthest away that someone's come? Not no countries I had been head up in. All of them, then? Oh, oh that's terrific. Now, how do you decide, you say you get the nature to the folks, how do you decide... Let, let's say that one right there, the, the pink one that you've got your hand on, how'd you decide to come up with that one? Well, or how'd you create that one? It's in my head, and I do what I'm seeing. Okay. So now the, the wood for that, that critter, did you have that pre-picked out, or did you just see it and then put it all together? They bring it there in pieces, and I put it together. All right, and then when you say they bring it here, who are you talking about? People bring the wood, uh, either tree will or buy the wood. Okay. And, and what what type of wood's your favorite to work with? Cedar. Cedar. So almost all your stuff is cedar. Yeah. Now on this one right down here, is that, is that a porcupine? That's porcupine. Porcupine. And we've got little little bottles on here, right? Yeah. After after where they come from? Now where those come from? These. These. But uh, the little bottles. They're what bubble makers. Oh. For celebrations. Celebrations. So they came from a. Uh, a New Year's Eve celebration. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this, Mr. Pye? Go ahead. You want to say something? He's, he's got long. a special name. He's got a special name. Too long. Too long? Well, what do you like about presenting over here at the Farrington Folk Art Festival? Nice people. And I like these people. Do you? Well, that's good. Have anything else to add, Mr. Clyde? Well, yeah. Youngins. I work for work with youngins. That, that's what keeps me wanting to do this. See the pretty smiles on the young and faith. Get them away from television. Let them know they can do something. So this is this is Mr. Clyde's result of not watching television. So kids, get out there, listen to Mr. Clyde, and you've got a chance if you come by tomorrow, which is the February 24th, the Sunday from 10 to 10 to 5, or if you miss it this year, you can come back next year. Mr. Clyde, thank you so much. Yeah, there's another thing. Let them know. They can make the dead and mother happen, don't just sit around and look, do nothing. Now see, as a dad, I appreciate hearing that. So you kids listening to this, listen to Mr. Clyde. Thank you. And go to school and learn something. There you go. Thank you so much.